Martin in Fort Wayne, Indiana. With the news of Anthem erasing all of the old GFW shows, do you know some of the matches or stars that were part of those tapings? I love this story so much. It's just such a throwback to the LOL TNA days. Jeff Jarrett still has a lawsuit pending against Anthem, for those who don't know, which is the parent company of Impact Wrestling. Actually, this might be a new a new lawsuit they recently filed, separate from the one that uh, was pending as of last year, I'm not sure. But this latest suit is for damages related to Anthem not returning the master tapes for the 16 shows that Jeff Jarrett's promotion, I put that in quotes, Global Force Wrestling, uh, taped when they were shopping the product around for a TV deal. And this is going back now, I mean, probably three years. Uh, Jared in the suit values the tapes at $300,000 per episode. So that's 16 episodes total. So, you know, we're talking five mil- almost $5 million in damages that he's looking for. Jared had given Anthem the master tapes after agreeing to merge uh, GFW with Impact. And Anthem now admits uh, that the tapes no longer exist. And therefore, they can't hand them over. Why don't they exist anymore? Because they were, quote, deleted in the normal course of business in order to free up storage space on Anthem systems. They ran out of space on their hard drives. I almost ran out of space on my old laptop. So you know what I did? I didn't erase all of my shit. I bought an external hard drive for like 50 bucks. Does Anthem not know that these devices exist? They deleted the shows in the normal course of business. Yeah, if this was 1975, maybe, you would erase over old tapes. You know how much wrestling in Mid-South and stuff like that was lost? Because back then, that's what they did. They erased over a lot of old shows. In the 1970s, that's what they did. The one asset that Impact has that might actually be worth something, and it really isn't so much the GFW stuff, it's more their own library, but that's, you know, that old stuff, those old tapes, that's the one asset they have that could actually be worth something. It's their tape library. GFW was part of that library. There were a lot of current WWE names on those shows, and they deleted them. It's just unbelievable. They did have some names you would recognize. I mean, to answer your original question, I mean, they had some names that you would recognize. You know, Jarrett was obviously on those shows. Uh, Bobby Roode, Nick Aldis, uh, TJ Perkins, the Singh Brothers back when they were still the Bollywood Boys. Kushida, who is very likely on his way to WWE. You know, they could have used that footage on their streaming service that Impact has. Or if Jarrett got back possession of the master tapes, you know, he could have sold them to WWE. And WWE could have used some of the matches as, you know, hidden gems on the WWE network eventually. Or, you know, hey, here's a throwback to when the Singh brothers, you know, were wrestling 10 years earlier as the Bollywood boys. And here's a match you've never seen before from these random GFW tapings in 2015 or 2016. So they, they, you know, the, the footage could have come in handy, but Hey, Anthem needed the space. Makes you wonder what else they may have deleted in the normal course of business to free up space.